guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new to my channel my name is Charlotte I upload every Wednesday and Sunday and do lifestyle fashion beauty videos it's basically anything I can think of so if you are new to my channel then I do hope that you subscribe there's a button I believe on your right hand side which is my left so I think it should be here if I'm correct even though I normally get it wrong so it's probably here but yes, please do hit that button if you're new and also press the bell because then you get a notification every time I upload a video. So today I thought I would show you my eyeshadow collection. I have so many eyeshadows, it is unreal. So I'm going to show you all my palettes and then I might show you some of my individual eyeshadows. Now I find the amount I have is actually quite insane. I am a makeup artist but I mostly do film and TV and I don't actually use this many eyeshadow palettes. I just love trying out makeup so I have collected a lot over like the last couple of years and I thought I would share them with you I mean I've seen videos with people who have like millions and millions of subscribers and I think mine is pretty much up there with that amount of eyeshadows and I have like 100 subscribers which is insane but as I said I do I am a makeup artist so I do collect it for my work and also I love trying out products so I just keep on buying them so I'm going to get right on in and these two drawers are the ones that I keep my eyeshadow palettes in. This top drawer actually only has a couple in because I keep my face palettes in there as well, like highlighters, that sort of thing. So I'm going to do this drawer first. And I've only got a couple in here. It's just these two. And I keep these in the face drawer because they have face products in them as well. So the first one is the Tanya Burr Pretty Unstoppable Palette. And this one has four gorgeous eyeshadows. These are really, really beautiful. They're such a good way of just doing a really simple smoky eye. And I love Tanya Burr uh, Cosmetics. I think she's done a great job in sort of creating a really affordable but good quality products. And she always has really cute packaging and I just really, really love this one. The next one is also from Tanya Burr. This is also a Christmas one. This is the... Uh, this is also beautifully defined. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, this is beautifully defined and it's a Christmas one, so it has like a little, it's like a little present. And inside is three eyeshadows again. Uh, it has just uh, some really lovely, sort of warm toned eyeshadows in it. But yeah, really, really pretty one and again, really affordable. So now going into the drawer of Insanity, I'm going to open it up. It's just so much in here. I'm going to have to move over as well. Oh, can you still see me? I'm going to just tilt. There. That's better, isn't it? Okay, so yes. As you can see, it's pretty full and you're far away. It's, it's full. Um, so I'm going to take start digging in. Um, so my first palette, which is on the top, is, um, by the way, it's not organised. It's just a bit of a mess. I haven't even tidied it to do this video. I've literally just dug right in. It's normally a mess, so I kept it a mess. Um, this is the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place. And these palettes, I've got all three of them, are amazing. And inside here is just some really beautiful, beautiful shimmer shades and some really gorgeous matte shades. This orange is just divine. It's so pigmented. I can't even explain how beautiful that is. Like, wow. Really fun colours and I just really love this. The pigmentation in these palettes are on point and I just love them. I mean, this one's so pretty. I can't really pull off blue. I really wish I could because that is so pigmented and beautiful. Yes, I love that palette. I'm really looking forward to using this green as well. The next palette is from Urban Decay and this is the Moon Dust palette. And this inside has some beautiful, beautiful shimmer shades. And I just love this galaxy shade. It's so stunning. It comes out quite blue, but then when you put it on sort of your eye, it's more sort of, has a sort of purpley hint to it. And it is so, Beautiful, can you see that? It, all these shades are stunning. This one is also really gorgeous. Yes, look at the pigmentation in them as well. They are so gorgeous. They're like foiled eyeshadows uh, with a lot of glitter in them and I love them a lot. My food shop just came so I had to pop down and do that. It always comes when I'm trying to do a video. I always try and do a video and someone knocks on the door and I'm like, it's fine, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so the next palette in this drawer is the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Very popular uh, eyeshadow palette. It's got some really beautiful eyeshadows in it. It does have a lot of kickback though, so you do have to be quite careful with them. They have fall down, that sort of thing. But the colors are beautiful and they blend really lovely. The next palette 
Open this lucky dip is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and this one I use all the time. And I just really, really love it. All the colours in here. I love semi sweet. I love that just in the crease. It's really, really beautiful. And I actually like using these. This one definitely champagne truffle, just on my cheekbones for a highlight. I just think it's really, really pretty. Uh, it's a really nice palette, but of course I think you've probably seen it before because everyone has that one. Okay, so the next one is this one here, which I use a lot. It's got lots of sticky stuff on it for some reason, not sure why. It's the Tanya Burr Cosmes Cosmetics Candy Glam Beauty Essentials Palette, and I love this one a lot. It has a lot of eyeshadows in there and a couple of like a blush and a bronzer, but the eyeshadows are really gorgeous. Starry Nights is so pretty. It's sort of a very shimmery, grey toned brown, if that makes sense. It's just really nice and pretty, and I really love this palette, and the quality is fantastic. I think it was like seven, eight quid when I got it, and the amount of sort of eyeshadows you get, and the quality of the eyeshadows is really, really good, and I just really, really like this one. They also have packaging in here that needs to be thrown away. <laughs> Okay, the next palette is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, which I actually stood on and I broke the tin, which I'm really upset about. When it happened, I was like, no, but it's fine. The eyeshadows are all intact and inside are some stunning eyeshadows. And I must say, I haven't got that much use out of it yet. Um, I just haven't been playing around with it that much, but now that it's spring, I feel like I should because there's some really, really beautiful sort of pastel -y shades in there and I just think they are so pretty and it smells divine. It's so good. And I ordered this off uh, Debenhams website so if you're interested Debenhams sell Too Faced products and I got it online and they normally do if you, if you sort of spend a certain amount free next day delivery. So there we go. Into her go. Next palette is the Naked Urban Decay palette which again is a really popular palette and I've actually only just picked this one up maybe well, I'm going to say three, five months ago now, and it is really, really beautiful, got really good staple colours, it's great for weddings, that sort of thing. I do a lot of wedding makeup from this palette, um, it's just really, really nice. The colours like, don't have much drop down, they're just really pretty. Half Baked is like a beautiful gold, like super shimmery, and also I really like sort of Toasted, it's a really pretty sort of mauve purple, it's really pretty. Some really nice matte shades in there as well. So a good little mix in that palette. So the next palette I have is the Sleek Eye Divine uh, palette. And this one has lots of bright colours in it. And I must say I don't really use this palette at all. Uh, it does have some really pretty colours. But I don't feel like they're very sort of wearable. And the pigmentation is okay. I mean the matte ones are much better actually than the shimmer ones. Uh, but they're not really my colours. Uh, but yes, I do have that palette. Then I have two more from Tanya Burr. As you can tell, I like Tanya Burr. This is the Birthday Suit Eye Palette. Four really simple, beautiful eyeshadows in there. Really easy to travel with, really pretty. And the next one is the Enchanted Dream Palette, which is more sort of purples in there. And that is really, really pretty as well. The next palette I have is actually from Marks and Spencers. And this is, does it even have a name? It doesn't even have a name, but it's from Marks and Spencers. And it has some really lovely sort of neutral shades and then a pop of blue in there as well. I really just love the packaging. The eyeshadows are a bit chalky um, but I just love the packaging and that's why I haven't got rid of it. The next two eyeshadow palettes are from Revolution and I've got the Iconic Pro 1 which has some gorgeous gorgeous shades in it. It has lots of mattes in it as well as some shimmer shades and the quality of these are actually really really good for the price. They have some really nice pigmentation and they blend really, really beautifully. Uh, so again, if you're looking for a really affordable one, I definitely should suggest checking out Revolution. So this is the Iconic Pro one, which again has a little bit more sort of purples in it, a few blues and greens in there. I'm gonna put them together so that you can just see the difference and then maybe you can choose which you prefer. So the top one is the Iconic Pro 2 and this one, the bottom one, is Pro 1. So you can just have a little look at the difference. They're quite similar, uh, just have a few different sort of shades in there. So 
the next palette is my Beauty Pie, the 10 Best Neutral Eyeshadows palette, which I did a first impressions on, uh, which I'll link above if you haven't seen my Beauty Pie ones. I always do an unboxing every month. Um, and if you watch that, you, you'll know that I'm not actually that fond of these eyeshadows. They just don't have that much pigmentation. They're, they're okay, they're just nothing special. Hear me ramble about it a bit more. It's up in that video. So the next vid, next video? The next palette is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. Love the packaging, super cute. And I love the little hearts inside as well. I think that's really pretty. And yes, it has some beautiful colors in it again. I think Too Faced do really fantastic eyeshadows. I've got pretty much all their palettes apart from the peanut butter ones, because I'm allergic to peanuts, so if it smells of peanuts, I'm just not going to enjoy that at all. Uh, but yes, I do really love Too Faced. So the next palette is the Morphe 25A palette, which is one of my favourite palettes, actually. It is so gorgeous, and there's so many colours in here. Some beautiful warm sort of transition shades, some beautiful browns, mattes, shimmers, these shimmers are just stunning. Like, look at this pigmentation there. I'm gonna sort of do a swipe down my arm. Like, insanely good. And I just love these. I use them all the time. And I have the here, the 25B palette as well, which again, has some more sort of neutral shades in it. Not so warm as the 25A palette, but it's so gorgeous. These shimmers here are stunning again. And the mattes are really beautiful, really blendable. They're like, literally these two are my go-to palettes. I use them all the time. Like if I'm gonna do a look and go out, I'm pretty much gonna use these two palettes. They are really, really good. And I also mix and match the eyeshadows from each. Super stunning. I just love Morphe a lot. I think they have the, some of the best eyeshadows out there and they're so affordable. And I just wish that they sold them more in Britain Beauty they sell a few, I know that Colt Beauty sell a few, but they don't sell these, I had all these from America, which of course then you've got all the shipping costs and uh, tax costs when it gets in and that sort of thing, import tax, and it gets quite expensive then and then they're not that affordable, uh, so I do wish that they sort of bring more out into Britain because they are so good. The next palette is the Jeffree Star uh, Andrology uh, palette, and this one again is really beautiful. I believe I did a first impressions on this, which I'll link above. I think I did. Unless I dreamt it. I'm pretty sure I did. If I did, I'll link it up above. Um, really, really pretty shades. A lot of matte shades. A couple of shimmer shades. I love this warm sort of camely uh, matte shade, which just blends out really beautifully. Everything is sort of buttery in this palette. And you get a lot of eyeshadow. These are really big eyeshadows in this palette and I just really like that and again I got this off beautybay.com if you haven't ever heard of beautybay.com they sell a lot of stuff actually that comes from America which is really great I just wish they sold a bit more but I always shop on that website because they are really good and if you spend £15 you get free shipping and if you spend over 50 I think you get next day free shipping. The next palette is the Nubian by Juvia's Place this is the smaller palette and in here are just some lovely sort of warm shades of beautifulness. I love them. This red here is sort of a, oh, it's so beautiful and gorgeous, super vibrant and really easy to use. All of these are really buttery. This one reminds me of a Makeup Geek one that I have. I can't remember what it's called. This one just here is really pretty. Some really lovely, lovely shades again. I feel like I have far too many eyeshadow palettes. So the next one is also from Juvia's Place and this is the Masquerade palette. And again, this one has some insanely beautiful shades, uh, some really vibrant shades, some more warm shades, really gorgeous. And I just super pigmented. I love this palette a lot. Everything blends out beautifully. I did actually sit in this palette during a video uh, and I had eyeshadows all down my trousers and that's why it's all a bit messy and I don't want to disturb it because I don't want them to break. Uh, so yeah, but beautiful, beautiful palette. The next eyeshadow palette I have is this one just here. And this one I actually got off Amazon a really long time ago and it's really quite cheap one and I've just kept it because it has a lot of vibrant colours and it also has 
another layer if I can get it open. So it has so many eyeshadows in it and it was literally like eight pounds. And they're not terrible. Uh, I can't say that I grab for it as much as I used to, but they are very, very bright. I think it'd be really good actually for like a festival makeup look. Definitely if you're going to festivals and you don't want to splash out. Uh, yeah, check out Amazon. There's like seriously a lot of pigmentation in there. I've just had to sit down a bit lower because my feet have gone dead and I couldn't stand it any longer. So I'm going to go into the next palette if I can reach. This is the Morphe 35W palette. Again, I've loved Morphe as I said before. This one has quite a lot of neutral shades in it. Uh, these ones here are just really, really nice sort of transition shades, really sort of simple to use. Got some nice warm shades here and also some like purples and a little bit of a grey here as well. Uh, this black, you have a matte black and a shimmer black which I think is really good if you want to do like a really good smoky eye. Really nice shades in there. The next palette is the Urban Decar, Urban Decar? Urban Decay uh, Gwen Stefani palette which just has some really pretty shades in it. I haven't really got around to using this that much. It is really really pretty. You have a lot of neutrals going on here. So this sort of bottom shade is really good for just over the eyelid and some gorgeous transition shades and then some pop of colour right at the end there. Uh, but yeah it's really good. It's got a great mirror on it as well. So you can really really look at yourself bit of lipstick there so yeah really really nice palette there and I love the packaging on this one okay so we're nearly there guys we are I'm sorry if it's gone on forever okay so my next palette is my makeup geek collection and I did a video of my makeup geek one so if you want to see that I'll link that above uh, some of these broke the other day I dropped the palette and they broke and they were so sad I was like um yeah so it's uh, I'm so disappointed like I literally broke all the beautiful foiled eyeshadows because they're so soft and it dropped and it all just crumbled and I was like no I tried to save a few a bit of it so I have got a little bit going there but yeah if you want to see that video I'll link it above because I swatched all the eyeshadows in this palette uh yeah so really lovely love the next palette is the Morphe 350M palette if I can open it and this one just has a lot of gorgeous warm toned eyeshadows in it um, again, really gorgeous, lots of mattes, I think, are they all mattes? Yeah, I think so. It's a matte palette. It's really good, really easy to use for like smoky eyes, simple smoky eyes, warm smoky eyes, really, really beautiful. And I think it's just really nice if you just want like a simple eye look, really nice palette. I have one more palette to show you and then we're finished. Let's get right in here. The last but not least palette is the 350S palette from Morphe and this one is all shimmers. So it's literally shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. So together, these two you can actually use sort of beside each other. Um, as you can see, they're very, very similar. Just one's shimmer and one is matte. So yeah, put them together and you can make a really gorgeous eye look. And that's why I got them together. Um, so yeah, as I said again, Morphe do some really beautiful eyeshadows the creamiest and butteriness of these shadows are beautiful and yeah stunning 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 so that was it for my eyeshadow collection i do feel like i have a lot i have like a a little array there i do have some individual eyeshadows too i have uh some ColourPop ones and some more some h&m and that sort of thing but if you want to see those i might do them in a different video because i feel like this one's actually quite long if you enjoyed the video then please do give it a thumbs up and as I said before if you're new then please do subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. See you later.